Hi, everyone. Welcome to the state of organic marketing in 2022. Uh, this is a survey conductor did with a few hundred digital marketers. And we're going to share those results with you right now. And of course, hope you uh, would like to see the survey um, in its entirety. We can send that to you as well. Uh, but excited to really tell you about the results and you know talk about this changing landscape, the paid landscape particularly, and how the impending cookie-less future is providing new opportunities to diversify digital marketing spend. And again, why organic marketing is really standing out. Um, why the key to converting and retaining customers is an enhanced content experience, right? It's all about taking your wisdom, producing early stage content to really help your customers when it comes time to purchase, they're gonna look for you since you provided them with that support and helping them with their, their queries and their questions. And then in-house versus outsource versus hybrid, find out what's right for you, what other companies are doing and how they're implementing to succeed within this new environment. First, you know, just two seconds about me. Um, I'm now the VP of Customer Success at Conductor. Um, over 30 years traditional and digital marketing experience. Um, more, most recently in the last 10 years, I went from CMO to CEO and helping grow one of the largest global independent search agencies. So searches in my blood, half, it was half media, half SEO and organic marketing. And then went over to WeWork uh, for a year to bring their global SEO and media in-house, fantastic experience. Um, was working with their um, EMEA team, uh, their LATAM team, and of course, US, and analyzing what was happening with their agencies and looking to take, you know, quite a few million of agency fees and bring that in-house with a build a 40-person team globally across WeWork. Really learned a lot about what it takes to build in-house teams, something I had already been working on with companies like Accenture, PayPal, SAP, um, at the search agency that I was uh, working at. So uh, now over to Conductor for the last 18 months. It's been phenomenal experience. Uh, Conductor was my partner at the SEO ag at the agency that I was running. Um, really looked at all the competition. I loved um, their roadmap very much around customer intent and how to find those insights. So it excited me. And when the opportunity came about to join Conductor, um, I just jumped on it. So thrilled to tell you about the survey and what we're doing. Just a little bit more on organic marketing and, and the pl our platform. So it's really about providing insights, agility, and measurement for marketers to improve their organic marketing performance. Improving your performance really means growing your maturity within organic marketing. And we help brands get their content found across search engines. You know, as you can see, we're trusted by thousands of uh, some of the most exclusive top brands, really exciting, but really more exciting than the brands themselves are the feedback the brands give um, third party companies like Trust Radius and G2, where we've had, you know, the highest ratings within this technology segment, as well as Forrester, who runs the Forrester Wave Report um, for a number of years, as we've uh, been seated as one of the top leaders across the wave, the SEO wave for organic marketing. So that was a bit about um, who's who's put on the survey and who we are. And now it's really about the survey and how you can use that data. First, a little bit of what was behind uh, the survey. You know, what was the demographics and the methodology? About 60% of the 350 marketers were larger enterprises. We consider an enterprise a thousand employees plus and mid-market 500 to 1,000 employees. So that was the breakdown uh, of the demographics, as well as as we looked at maturity. So an organization's organic maturity, we define it, it's broken down really into four pillars, people, process, metrics, and tools, and how many of those they have in place and how they collaborate um, is really critical to maturity. So when we look at low maturity, we're looking at organizations focused on standing up their SEO basics and getting to execution. So very positive, uh, they're committed to SEO, but in a very kind of low mature way. So they're in the early conceptual stages of starting to create an SEO vision and a high level and may even be prepared to implement on small scale. But there's a gap in terms of the support and the resources they need, because we know you know organic marketing is a team sport, right? It's SEO, it's content, and it's the web team working together. 
pretty hard in those low maturity organizations as they're trying to mature. You know, that's kind of the critical aspect. In that mid maturity, um, it, those mid maturity companies look to increase efficiency through the integration and collaboration using tools. So short term, they have a strategy and it's become feasible. So now their goal is to build out a long term plan. And at this stage, leadership understands the large opportunity that comes along with an organic marketing team. And they're trying to figure out how to grow and scale this. And then you move to the high maturity companies where they really get it right now. And their focus is on advanced factors like technical SEO and more integration across regions, across business units, across teams. So this stage not only has built out a process and has a dedicated team, but their support and involvement across the organization. They're, they've fostered cross collaboration and integration of different SEO tools and platforms and technology that's consistently used by digital marketers. And this includes content and web roles and stakeholders at various data needs. And those are those high maturity. So when you look at it, you're gonna have this data heavily from the mid maturity to the high maturity stage and hope you fit into one of one of these stages as well. And this data can help you move your organic marketing maturity. So what were the key findings? Um, interesting that uh, many businesses faced unexpected changes due to COVID-19 in 2020 and how the pandemic impact impacted their teams across the following areas in those following 12 months through 2021. So it appears in the era in the era of Zoom uh, meetings and remote offices was not in, as impactful on the productivity as many had feared. And 48 to 60 percent of organic marketing teams uh, actually experienced positive changes from both budget and productivity across COVID-19. So despite the remote work, um, this was incredibly, you know, some really great results that we saw and uh, really positive again on the organic marketing side. Um, the impact of organic marketing programs um, on website performance over the last 12 months saw 90% of companies with high organic maturity, so at least a 5% increase in performance. So uh, the question that was given out here, the survey question was, how has SEO organic marketing programs impacted web performance over the last 12 months? So I uh, love seeing how, of course, the high maturity customers already committed to um, already committed to organic marketing had seen a additional growth in organic marketing. And of course, mid market and low maturity um, still saw results uh, as they were stepping in and, you know, stepping up their organic maturity uh, and their organic marketing programs. So organic marketing budgets increased more than pay budgets. Um, so we, we knew paid got cut, but as they were bringing them back, 20% of respondents saw a significant increase in organic marketing budgets, while only 7% saw higher, um, saw seven percent saw higher budgets within their paid media. Um, so again, not surprising as we knew paid got cut, but surprising that you know twenty percent of respondents did see an increase. Money was being put towards organic marketing uh, during that, you know, as as COVID was, uh, you, know, you know, hit us pretty hard across the digital marketing landscape. But more executives now see the value of organic marketing. So that's the great turn of what's happened in this year, the, the last year of COVID. Organic marketing increased budgets. 86% of organizations with high organic maturity expect their budgets to increase now over the next 12 months. And when we look at growing importance of digital and the positive expectation, um, again, we're thrilled to see about three quarters of all respondents anticipate a positive shift in goals, productivity, and headcount and budget for organic marketing. So again, very, very positive as you're looking to set your budgets into 2022 now, how your peers are looking at the shift of organic marketing and the positive uh, the goals that they've set across you know, all of these uh, key KPIs uh, for growth. 
So as we look at you know organic marketing, we know it's a team sport, right? And over 50% of surveyed organizations reported they use search data most of the time to inform content creation. And the more mature SEO companies tend to produce and publish content faster than their low maturity counterparts. But SEO and content marketing practitioners reported it takes two to four weeks to create and publish content for a new page, while executives thought it only takes a few days. So really interesting to see what's happening from what executive thinks are happening and what is actually happening. Again, almost a month to produce content uh, with executives thinking it's only taking a few days. Another important area is the SEO in the SEO function is the technical implementation. And our survey indicated that most SEOs requests of the IT team takes at least one week to fulfill, and it ranges up to four weeks to fix some technical SEO recommendations. And we know, you know, technical SEO is one of these areas that can have fast impact on results with an SEO. We're putting up a brand new page of content we know takes time for to promote it for search engines to find it. So technical SEO critical. This should not be taking four weeks to change. It should be something within a few days to a week. Um, and these are things that the more mature organizations are doing a lot better than the, the less mature organizations. And then we looked at marketers working in silos. Uh, you know, some of the key things that happen here is collaboration between like merchandising teams and SEO teams. It's necessary for many reasons, but particularly to avoid overselling, managing negative reviews, optimizing pages versus schema markup and using canonicals to manage product variants. So there could be a lot of uh, duplicate work and losing information when we, we lose collaboration. So marketing roles from low maturity organizations are collaborating with SEOs only 32% of the time. Despite frequent work, uh, working with other marketing stakeholders and SEO, content teams found that web dev uh, to be highly collaborative only 24% of the time. But high maturity organizations, they're collaborating with SEO on web dev and content 94% of the time. So the telling gap is, is enormous here. And imagine all the knowledge that's lost and the work that's duplicated when marketers work in silos from their SEO team. So a great uh, takeaway here is huge, huge results with 94% of high maturity organizations collaborating across uh, the organization. And that's what's helping drive results, reduce loop, loop duplication of work and reduce the loss of information. We then move on to in-house, you know, and organic, how organic marketing drives performance. And, you know, of course there is outsourcing that's needed. So, you know, we can speak to both outsourcing and in-house being helpful uh, but slightly leaning towards the benefit of in-housing. Uh, from the collaboration standpoint, we can say that all three are good. We've seen outsourcing can help improve efficiency, and SEO is under-resourced in so many cases, you need outside support. Uh, the high organic maturity organizations, they see that you know the top locations of outsourcing SEO efforts come from technology vendors and followed by consulting firms. So again, you know, we're able to use uh, outsource where it's needed to supplement in-house, but the more we can bring in-house in organic marketing, content, SEO, web dev, the faster, uh, the better, the more accurate uh, we're gonna be able to be. And uh, the quicker that you're gonna be able to improve performance, drive more traffic, you know, drive more revenue, whatever your top KPIs are through organic marketing. Then we look at you know, SEO technology as an enabler for robust tracking, implementation, and collaboration. So our survey found that most companies are using some form of enterprise SEO software. Platforms can help facilitate and collaborate across teams and departments. And when you're speaking about technology platforms as we do, you know, the benefits are tremendous. So the most mature companies tend to show the strongest performance 
and use of fully integrated SEO platforms. And look at the difference, how it starts at only about 10% at low maturity, but when you get up to high maturity, we're over 65% uh, claim you know, tremendous benefits from using SEO technology to help with collaboration. So what's the outlook for 2022 and how should you be looking at your improving your organic maturity? When we look across um, priorities and top by title, it's really interesting to see how leaders, digital channel owners, and digital marketing practitioners all come up with within their top three priorities, building more effective collaboration between SEO and other areas stood out across all three of these titles. Really fascinating, and I'm sure you know, if you, you're involved in SEO in any big way, you know, you, and depending on where you sit as a title, uh, I'm sure that you, the, this rings really true for you guys. So when you look at the leaders, it was building, number one was building collaboration. Number two was including the rate of implementation. Again, really uh, love seeing this, that leaders are looking at improvements in SEO and they get how this is going to improve performance and making reporting on SEO more consistent and actionable. So it's, it's, the, it's finding those insights and being able to act upon them quickly in how leaders are looking at their top SEO priorities. Digital channel owners kind of flip that around a bit, right? They wanna increase the rate of implementation. They wanna get more things done, which really relates to collaboration again. Can they have that web dev team implement on-page SEO recommendations more quickly? And that's by closer collaboration and working within some type of SEO technology will help with that collaboration. And evaluating new SEO technologies and tools for investment. That's constant, that's ongoing, you know, it's a changing landscape. It's something we really pride ourselves on a conductor in, in our a product development and innovation. It has to keep changing. As we know, you know, Google, uh, all of the search engines are constantly changing on their end. We need to be on top of that. So we're always looking at new features, um, you know, purchasing new technologies as well to integrate with our core platform as we just recently did with Content King. Um, really critical for digital channel owners. And then when you get to the practitioners, of course, they have flipped this around a bit. They want more bandwidth around SEO to accomplish their desired goals. So getting more budget from leaders um, to improve their bandwidth is the number one most critical end for the practitioner. But look at number two. It's about collaboration because they know to get, they need content to get content done to put up on the site. They need to collaborate with content teams. And we know that content teams could sit anywhere. It can sit in marketing. It can sit with business units. Those subject matter experts are who the SEO needs to connect with and help them prepare and produce the best content that's gonna rank quickly and we're looking to beat our competitors. And then being able to measure performance on SEO programs so they can go back to their leadership more quickly and show the benefits of committing to SEO, committing to this collaboration and improving maturity. And of course that means committing to a bigger SEO budget. So I love where the practitioners as they're looking at you know, bandwidth, but that collaboration is number two is fantastic uh, input for all of us and, and you can bring as well to your leadership team. And then when we look at the priority trends that are reflected to execute on SEO, <clears throat> you have from the SEO teams, it's about implementation. If you look at their key, those three key priorities that we talked about. If you look at the content teams, right? They, they're looking at more bandwidth to work with the SEO teams to accomplish their goals. They wanna make reporting on SEO more consistent and actionable. And of course, they wanna be able to measure performance because as you change a page, as you add new content pages, you wanna be able to look at what you've done, how quickly uh, Google starts ranking you and brings you up in the engines and where am I beating my competitors, but where are my competitors beating me where I should be winning? So that measurement is just critical to SEO performance. On the website, it's being able to measure the changes they make very specific to SEO web performance, right? The web dev team has a lot, a lot of fixes to be working on every day, and then they get their SEO tickets for the month to put in 
So if they can show better connection of performance to SEO changes, they can look at improving their bandwidth as well, getting more people hired to get more technical implement, uh, more implementation done on the web dev side. So building more effective collaboration, again, critical for the web dev team and increasing the rate of implementation. So again, using um, measure performance and measurement to show their leadership the importance of SEO, that's going to help them increase the rate of implementation if they can get more support from their leadership team. So really interesting. It really comes down to that implementation, insights, and agility. And that's what you get when you look at incorporating an enterprise platform as your infrastructure across the collaboration that you want to use and why those high maturity customers are already doing that and they're looking to take organic marketing to the next level. So collaboration and implementation, you know, how does this work for the low maturity versus high maturity? <clears throat> On low maturity, and that's fine, right? We need, just need to get low maturity to the mid maturity up to high maturity. They're hiring more dedicated resources to drive SEO programs internally. Awesome, because that gives them the ability to, you know, reach out and collaborate with other teams. But being able to measure that performance is also just critical for their programs. And then their third priority, having enough bandwidth around SEO to accomplish those desired goals. What are the KPIs for that SEO team for the organic marketing uh, area of the website? And having that, um, tracking that, and then having the bandwidth to accomplish those goals is what's really critical for those low maturity. And that's going to help them build up. High maturity, it's different. It's being able to build more effective collaboration between SEO and other teams because they're already in it. They're in it deep with the content team. They're in it deep with the web team. But there are so many other teams within an organization that they know SEO can become important to where they're doing keyword research, where they're able to provide insights and speed to market across regions, across, you know, technical a data that a, a, a business unit might have where you have subject matter experts that are very different than, let's say, brand content teams. So increasing that rate of implementation of SEO improvements, they get it. They know the faster we can make changes, the faster performance we're going to see performance. And then always evaluating new SEO technologies and tools so that they can just keep pace and keep improving, uh, you know, as AI, machine learning, you know, it's just been tremendous on what's happening and the excitement that's out there within the marketplace around SEO tools and technology and, again, collaboration as well. And what I loved was seeing that the channel priorities for 2022 and beyond, you know, sit with number one, digital advertising. Number two, the website user experience. And that really relates to, you know, converting more customers once they get to the site. And it really connects to everything you're doing digitally. But now look at numbers three and five, content marketing. That's part of that organic marketing mix. And we look at organic search, particularly at number three, all higher than paid search or organic social or affiliate marketing or syndication. So really exciting to see how, brands are prioritizing the organic marketing mix and collaboration. So our, re our recent digital transformation report that we did confirmed that, you know, UX investment are increasing across the web. And again, that really helps SEO because it focuses on conversion and that user experience. And we also found that that user experience is critical for both B2B and B2C. This doesn't sit as a consumer you know, the, the experience you have as a consumer, you bring to your B2B experience. And you have that same expectation every day when you go to that B2B website. Same thing B2C, your expectation, you're dealing with Amazon every day, your purchase, you have an expectation when you come to that website. That means content that's spot on. And that means a user experience that is going to move you quickly through whatever the, the process might be, whatever the process is on your website. And finally, the, the emphasis on content marketing. So it's, this is the indication that brands are realizing the importance of delivering value, taking their wisdom and turning it into value to their customers. If I can, um, if I can help my customer in that early stage search, when they put in that query, they just don't know what to do. These are the non-brand terms that, you know, you all focus on that, you know, are important to your organization. When it comes time to make that purchase, 
to generate that lead, want to meet with a B2B um, salesperson, want to buy, you know, purchase something online, want to find that location, they're going to come to your site because you help them, right? You used your wisdom to help them. So critical and marketers know it and they're, they're seeing how content marketing now is just more important than ever. So the key takeaways, organizations with high level of organic maturity, they're more resilient overall, right? The effects of COVID-19 did not hit them in any negative way in anything. They, they saw an increase in performance. In-house organic efforts drove 12% more website traffic than fully outsourced efforts. 70% of organizations are expecting to see some type of increase in their organic marketing budget in 22. Fantastic for all of us that are committed, you know, to search, to content, you know, and to getting, you know, our message out to our customers. And the top three strategic channels for digital marketers was digital advertising, web, the web user experience, and that content marketing that we're, we need to put more money to content marketing because now they know they can track it, they can score it, they can report on it. Most important was building more effective collaboration between SEO and other organizations is the top priority for both leaders in digital marketing. So we know and what we need to bring to leadership within the organizations, again, is how SEO and organic marketing is driving the best customer, the most loyal customer, the highest converting customer, the lowest cost per acquisition. And it's typically the number one or number two traffic channel uh, for a brand. So the importance of organic marketing, more important than ever, the commitment now in 2022 and beyond has been fantastic as technologies have come on to really help this collaboration process and the reporting process, speed, agility, measurement, critical. Um, hope you like this and please contact us so we can send out the, um, the entire survey and love for you to reach out and contact me and love to get involved and help you with your organic marketing efforts.